Hi, I'm Mike Norfield, and I'm going to talk to you about PMR and telemetry in utilities. Today, market dynamics are changing. Consumer innovation is driving the need for new technologies. The move to LTE, the move to unified communications, everybody is talking about needing new technology to satisfy their technology needs, to improve efficiency, to improve utilisation, to improve on a company's ability to communicate. IT directors today are faced with many issues of integrating disparate technologies, old ageing technologies alongside new technologies to make their business, from a technology standpoint, completely seamless. So that the end result is that it looks like the business is in full control. Whereas actually what's happening is it's like a swan, gracefully moving along the water whilst underneath the feet are paddling like mad. And that's the responsibility that IT directors and radio comms directors have around the world in making their, set, their technologies seem absolutely in control and not disparate like they actually are. That's why everybody is talking about unified communications. One platform that can enable communication across many systems. One device for every application. And that's where utility companies are now looking at moving to what they call the smart city, the smart grid or the Internet of Things. But what does this really mean? What do these terminologies mean? Well, it basically means unified communications. One platform that can actually bring and manage all forms of communication seamlessly. So what does this mean for utility companies? Well, as far as we're concerned, there are three key things that a utility company needs when it comes to communications. First of all, it's mission-critical voice. Secondly, it's mission-critical low-band data. And finally, it's broadband overlay. But what is this for and what does it mean? Well, basically, a company, a utility company, needs to have, first and foremost, the ability to communicate with its people via voice. Because when there is a situation, when there is an incident, and when other systems like GSM, cellular, LTE, actually go down because of problems, they've got to have a reliable source of communication. And that's where PMR voice comes into it. The second thing a utility company needs is mission-critical low-band data. We would argue that mission-critical low-band data is just as critical as voice, because voice gives you the ability to speak to somebody and to actually have a communication with somebody, but actually, when there's a problem, how do they know where that problem is? And they know where that problem is by using SCADA or SCADA data. It's telemetry. It's the ability for a company to get back the information they need to control their assets so that if there is a problem in the field, that the business knows about it and they know about it immediately. So low-band mission-critical data is as mission-critical as voice. And then lastly, it's broadband overlay. Broadband overlay gives the business the ability to be able to bring on new applications, new devices and new features to allow a company to benefit from the, the broadband technologies that are available in the market today. And also, with higher data rates, it allows them to do things like video, it allows them uh, applications for asset management, asset tracking, AVL, um, you know, distribution of assets. It gives them the ability to manage their business a lot better. However, this, as you might have noticed, as I said, is not mission critical. Broadband to an organisation is not mission critical. It's a nice to have. If it's there for 99% of the time, that's great. But when the system goes down or when a network goes down, like an electricity network, what happens is we lose broadband services. We lose cellular services. So we lose the ability for companies to communicate over their broadband devices. So if a business like a utility company puts all their eggs in one basket by putting all of their services, voice, low band data, high band data, over GSM or cellular, when there's an issue, when there's a network outage, they will lose all forms of communication. That's why having a mission critical voice network and a mission critical low band data network is so essential for a business. That way, when there is a major outage, they've still got A, the means of communicating with their their workers out in the field to fix issues, but also they've got the ability to understand where the problem actually lies through their telemetry unit. That's why we've developed a new technology 
called Samoco Pulse, which sits on the Samoco XD DMR network infrastructure. It's a solution. We believe it's the best solution out there to meet the needs of an organization to provide them with mission critical voice and mission critical low band data. And remember, when the lights go out or there is a major outage, the last thing an engineer is going to grab is his iPad. He's going to grab his radio so that he can have mission critical communications with fellow engineers backed up by mission critical low band data.